What is going on guys? Today we're gonna be, uh, well, this might be the last time you see me fishing off this boat right here. This one. Uh, you can't see my face, but you can see the boat. That's all that matters. And we took the wrap off yesterday. I want to let you guys know I am going to be selling this boat. And if one of you guys are interested in purchasing this boat, it's got everything. It runs fine. It's, it's great. I'm just going to switch it up. I'm going to try something different. But if one of you guys is wanting to possibly buy this boat, I'll take you fishing. I'll give you some fishing rods. If it's one of you guys that buys it, of course, there's a random person. Ah, they can just buy the boat. But if one of you guys is interested in it, I will actually leave the uh, the info down below to the guy you can get a hold of. I'm going to be going through a dealer to do it. So if any of you guys are needing to get like a loan or anything like that, just making life easy. And I'm not really the, I'm not really good with paperwork. So I'm just going to let them deal with it. You know what I mean? But if you're interested guys, seriously, just check check down below. I'll leave the guy's number down there. Uh, the winds are pretty good today. Yeah, the, the winds are good. It's 13 to 15. We're going to start deep in like 20, 25 foot of water. And then we're probably going to move shallow to this area. Because uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now, they're probably, there's probably no fish right here. N not this time of the day. It's uh, time check, time check. 2 p.m. We'll be back in the shallow stuff here later on throwing a frog. That was a big old turtle. All right, let, let's... Uh, I'm all over the place. Yeah, anyway, if you guys are interested, check down below. I love every single one of you guys. Now let's uh, let's get to some fish in action. What in the world? That little bass just crushed this. What were you thinking, dude? Look at this. This thing's as big as you. I'm, I'm kind of actually lost for words here. Look at this. Just ate itself, basically. What were you thinking, dude? This was actually one of those little crankbaits that was made by crabs. I'm just going to go ahead and just throw it. This is about 20 foot of water and I'm just kind of cranking it through. Right next to this, this entire thing is littered with grass right here. And hopefully it's got big bass. Not anything that size. That thing was kind of... Mm, a little flourish. What the hell if I throw it this way? That's a fish. There we go. On the old crankbait. Come on, dude. Oh, we call that a quick release here in Texas. So that's uh, two fish and three casts on this bait. I mean, that thing is pretty looking. Look at that sucker. You know what I don't really understand on this bait though, which Mr. Crab might be, Mr. Crab. <laughs> uh, crab might be watching this. Why, why'd you drill a hole? That's my next question. Why is there a hole drilled in this bait? I'll show you guys. Why is there a hole right there? Why did you drill a hole there? Kind of interested. Oh, whoa, what is that? I just got attacked by a bass. Okay, there's a pocket of fish right here. Let me reel on this other, let me reel on this other rod real quick. There's like a pocket right there where it has like three or four bass in it. In a situation like this, this is what you probably would want to throw. Okay. Here's a fish on right there. Got him. Okay. Little one, little one, little one. I'm telling you guys, that is a money maker right there. This bait will catch him. Always has and probably always will. There's like three in there. I don't know what this exact size of any of them. Come on, get off of there, buddy. There you go. I'm pretty positive we could probably get all of them to eat. If that one just came up and ate that quick, that was probably the most aggressive. I generally, I've always been told that the, the biggest ones are the most aggressive ones. I don't know if that's true. No one's really able, no one's really been able to really ask a bass who's the most aggressive one. So I just kind of roll with it. See if we can get another one to eat there. Well, I'm gonna put the Senko down just for a little bit. And I'm gonna throw the swim jig. I'm gonna kind of just slow roll. I'm gonna throw it out there and just kind of throw it right along this grass edge right here. I mean, I'm sitting in probably like 15 foot of water and that's like three. That's like sight fishing water right there. So yeah, that's, it's pretty much it, huh? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's on that swim jig right there. Probably tighten down the drag a little bit, braid slipped. There we go, buddy. I was just slow rolling it out deep. Oh, he's a blind fish. Oh, he's got, of course he's got one eye, but he's blind in one eye. There we go. I think he's blind. Oh yeah, he's blind, look at that. Oh, he's thin. Oh, you're a thin sucker. Yeah, he's blind. Look at his eye right there. It's kind of kind of messed up. He's got one good one. All right. Slow. Whoa, son of a gun. Slow rolling a swim jig on a grass line. Nothing like it. Swim jig. Okay, so you got grass line. So you got swim jigs, Senkos, punch rigs, and probably missing something here, guys. I'm sure I'm missing something. Comment below. What am I missing? Missing something on a grass line. Oh, a frog, of course. 
What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh my gosh, did that just happen? Got him. He came back again. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. I was peeling off the sticker. This thing hit it the first time, and then it started slow rolling it. And he came back for it. Not a bad one, actually. There we go. Came back the second time, side swiped him. Well, I believe that's fish number four or five. I don't really know. Still has a summertime belly. Look at this. Got the flap still going on. Still thin. Come on, bass. Let's get a little thicker for me. So I'm still throwing the swim jig. Going to be throwing it for probably the next maybe hour or so. And then I'm really kind of waiting for the wind to die down and the sun to go down. Kind of have the same trifecta. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I'm going to stop. Oh my, that was a bass. Take it. He's got it. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, don't dig in there. Don't dig in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. This is, I think this is the best fish of the day. Yeah, that's the best fish of the day right there. Come on up, dude. It's not a bad fish, man. Not a bad fish, guys. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, that's not a bad fish at all. Holy crap, that's a good, lot better fish than I was expecting. Look at that. Inhaled it. Boom. There we go. Good quality fish. Look at that, man. This would be a lot bigger if it wasn't summer. I mean, look at this, guys. Look how much was taken off this thing. Just a big old floppy belly. This would be, I mean, right now it's probably sitting at about four. This would be probably be about a six pounder at least if it wasn't summer. Maybe it was fall for sure. I mean, look at that. Just so much, so much extra skin. Oh, well, you're beautiful. I love you. You summertime, summertime girl. Oh, it's old, old fish. Look at the tail. Thank you so much. You ready to go? Ready to go? You're good. See you later, baby girl. Off to the bottom. Off to the bottom. Off to the bottom. She got off to the bottom. I don't know what I'm even trying to say there. Well, that was cool. Watched her eat. Made sure she had it. Set the hook. She basically inhaled that sucker. Oh, man. It's fish. Got him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get out of the tree, get out of the tree. Damn. Piss fish, piss fish. Oh, there's a second one that just came up with him. Oh no, there's two of them right there. Oh my god, what can I flip down? What can I flip down? Can I catch two fish at once? Can I catch two fish? Uh, couldn't get that other one to eat. But you know what? That means they're aggressive. And they were just sitting on that tree right when I flipped in there. All right. Let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. Let's see if we can get on that again real quick. That was like uh, instantaneously, just duke. Oh gosh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That is a fish. Be a decent one. Don't just be wrapped up in a bunch of stuff. Come on. Not a bad fish. There we go. <laughs> I did switch my rod up because I, I thought that line I was using was a little light. It was 12 pound test. So I switched over to something with some oomph. This is some 17 since we started flipping these trees. This fish is pissed. Not a bad fish at all. Not a bad one. Come on, buddy. Ah, you're not hooked too bad. Here we go. All right. Decent fish number two. Not a bad start to get myself back from Africa. I'll tell you guys what. Glad to be back. Glad to be bass fishing. Thank you, dude. You're a little healthier than the other one. That's a healthy fish. Probably a little younger than that one that we caught earlier. Back in the water. Oh no, it's all over my hands in my cut. What? No! It's all right. Fish, he took it. Oh my gosh. Is he swimming with it? He's got it. Yep, right when it hit the water. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. I mean, he inhaled that sucker. Look at this. Ah. Man, these fish are all cookie cutter fish. Look at that. I mean, it hit the water and he sucked it in his mouth. Go back, enjoy yourself. See you later. Look how crystal clear this water is. The wind is still kicking. All right, what well, time check we got? It's five o'clock, 5.01. We'll probably sit out here for another 30 minutes to an hour and then we'll have to load up and go take this thing to get detailed because I want this thing looking 
crispy. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of What the Hell Just Happened. Oh my gosh, I caught that. Oh my. Oh god. Okay, the line was in the water and I caught a log. Oh, got a fish on. Fish on. Hold on. Uh, come on. Come on out of there. There we go. Oh, not a bad one either. Oh, come on. Don't get wrapped on that log. There we go. There we go. I was on the cell phone with my buddy. That's a good quality fish. I'll take him. I will take him. That is a good quality fish to have as the last one of the day. Good succulent bass. We had a good day back in the States. I'll take it. Good first day back bass fishing. That was a, that was a, that was a really long title. See you later, dude. Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to get this boat. Hey, look, there's a step there. We've got to get this boat cleaned, prepped. i got to take everything out of these boxes. I didn't think about that. No! Just now dropping off the boat to get it cleaned. And I'm um, gonna be honest with you, I didn't realize I had this many boxes inside the boat. Look at this. This is all just tackle. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. This thing was in a dire need of cleaning. Thank God, this dude's amazing, by the way. Still, I can't believe all this was in that boat. Good to go. Conehead. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, I am very, 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 very tired for some reason. It's like hit me. Maybe because the fact that I just ate like a ton of uh, hibachi chicken. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to go in food coma, but I was just talking to Peric and we were looking at Irma. If Irma gets so bad, uh, like I think it's going to be, then I will be going on Sunday. I'll be flying to Atlanta and he's gonna pick me up on his way down and we're going to go help some people down in Florida uh, with his boat. Um, I think I think it's the best thing to do. If you guys need help in Florida, we may be there. This really kind of depends if the, if, the, if the storm goes that way, then no one will be needed. If, if people are needed, I will be there, I promise you guys. But uh, if, you, if you guys are looking for the boat, if you guys want to know about the boat, it is for sale, like I said at the very beginning of the video. Check in the link in the description. Well, there'll be a link, possibly, but it, it'll be the guy's phone number. Just give the guy a call, and uh, he'll hook you up if you need a loan or whatnot. They do it all. That's who I bought my, uh, that's actually who I bought that boat from, man. Well, you guys will find out. I got another boat coming. It, it, it's, it's a little different. I'm gonna go hang out with Avery and Sarah, and then I will, uh, you guys know the deal. How ah, about if you haven't seen that video right there, you need to click on that one. If you have not seen that one, then click on that one. And if you're not already, then you need to subscribe down below. Other than that, I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'm about to disappear. Ah, ah, ah.